Welcome to Glenwood Municipal Library video tutorial. This is a quick video to show how to renew your items on the website. This is if you're using a desktop computer or an iPad or tablet or other mobile device that uses an internet browser. If you're using the Chinook Arch app, this is not what, the, what it will show. So this is the website alone. So on the website, here at the top right hand corner, we can actually see my account. We click on that my account and it will bring up our login screen. We enter in our barcode or our username and our PIN number and click on login and it will take us to this screen. You'll notice on the screen that we've got the middle section does not have the list of your items checked out at, at this time. That's because that is one of the changes that I've noticed. On the left hand side, however, you will see a menu and it's called My Borrowing. You'll see Checked Out on Hold, Late Fees, and My Settings. You'll notice that there's little arrows. That always means there's more information. So if you click on anywhere on this section of Checked Out, you'll notice that your list of items does come out and it comes up in that middle section. So my overdue item is at the top of the list and anything due later goes down below that. Now this has even changed in the past couple of days that I've looked at this. So I just wanna point out some things of some changes even since I saw them. Um, this is showing just your overdue and if you later do things, you can look at all items which is what it's doing now, or if you want to look at just the overdue item, then it will bring that up, or if you do the due later, it will do the due later ones. So just kind of be careful if you're trying to, to get all of the items renewed. You'll notice that the radio boxes are gone on the all items, but if we go into the list with more than one item <laughs> on the due later, it does bring up the radio boxes to select to renew it, and then the the renew selected item box comes up and tells me that we can try and renew that. So I click on that renew selected two items and it tells me that it went ahead and renewed them and we'll and it changes the due date for those. My overdue item, if I want to try and renew that, I can try and renew that. You'll notice it says four people waiting, so depending on the system, it may or may not renew. So if I try and renew that, I can click just on renew and it tells me item has holds. So I can click OK. So that did not renew. You'll notice the next section is on hold. The on hold items will show several different things. Ready now, in transit, not ready, and pause. The ready now are items that are ready to be picked up at the library. You'll notice that it will tell me the date to pick it up by. You do have 10 days to pick up your items once it comes to the library. And if you don't, it does return to the, the library it came from, or it goes on to the next patron that has a hold on it. So if you don't want to lose the hold that on that popular item, make sure to come in within the 10 days that it arrives at the library. In transit, it shows here, and uh, the in transit items show the little truck. That means that it's on its way with the van through the system. So it's been checked in somewhere and it's on its way to Glenwood Library. Now it may or may not be there really quick depending on the van if it needs to go to Lethbridge to be sorted out first from the, from whichever library it came from and then put it in the Glenwood van bins. So just watch that. As soon as it does get checked in at the Glenwood Library, this will change to red to the green and go up into your ready now. If you want to log in and check your holds the day of the van, you can see when those are ready to be picked up or not. Um, that, that list, it may show ready now and your phone call, text message, or email will come out the next morning. So if you're really anxious to get something, just log in the day of the van and you'll watch when, the, when it is ready to be picked up. The not ready are all the other items that I've got put on hold that have not been feel, filled yet. And then the paused items. Now paused is interesting because that used to be called suspend. This paused, I, paused hold is a great feature, especially if you're doing a series of books or DVDs by chance, that you want to make sure to get the whole, the entire series, but you're not quite wanting to get all four books at one time. So here you can you can place the item on hold and then you tell it, give it the dates that you don't want to pick it up by. So if you've got a couple of weeks, so right now on the 19th of November, 
If you want to place one of your holds on pause, it's pretty simple because all you have to do is click on the paused. It gives you calendars that you just click on. So the, from today until, and if I can tell it, I don't want to pick it up until after the 21st of October. Yes, pause that. Now, it won't necessarily mean that it will be here on the 21st of October, but it won't come while I'm gone. So on the 21st, what will happen is that it will move that item from the paused section into my regular hold. We can see it's, missed, it's gone from here, and now it's gone over into my paused. Or if I want to look at all my hold items at once and just scroll down, I can do it that way too. So that's how that works. And then the last thing is the late fees. So if I click on the late fees, it will show me the items for why I have fines. So one of it is the privilege, which is the card membership, overdue fines. It tells me each item and what date that fine happened. And then it also tells me that accruing fines, check that item. So now you can see that these items for overdue fines, they've been checked in. You've returned them and they just came in late. So this other one is accruing fines. That means I still have this item. Now, if the library closed Friday before I could return the item that was and caused this 25 cent to be due, on Monday, when the library opens, as long as I've put this item in the book drop be between the time the library is open, the next time the library opens, they will change the date on the computer to a book drop date. So the, it will go back to the date, the last date that the library, that particular library was open, and then they'll check in the items. So if there's a chance that this accrued fine may just disappear once the library opens again and can check in the book drop. So if you have returned items to the book drop, don't worry too much if you start seeing fines accrue because when the libraries open the next time and they do their book drop, they'll back the computer back up to the Friday to the, the correct date and it will catch. So just watch, watch that and it helps. You'll notice on the left hand side when I went to late fees, my checked out and on hold went down. If I click on my on hold, it's going to go back up to the top of the menu. I hope this has been helpful to everyone. Please don't hesitate to come into the library and ask any questions. We can try and help you further if you'd like. Have a wonderful day and please come to the library. It's the place to be.